what, what might really encourage people to pay uh, for something on the website that they're not getting now? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, so there's probably a lot of different answers to that question. Um, I think, you know, it's kind of going back to what I was alluding to before, that people are willing to pay for, experience, for their experience. And that, that's something that's, I think, in my mind, often overlooked. Um, you know, some, obviously the big debate, I think, is whether or not content should be free or paid, and that's I'm not going to get into that debate. But in my mind, taking that out of it, um, the experience, I think, is a, is a big component, right? And, you know, uh, our website, again, we love it. We think it's, it's a fantastic marketing and promotion engine for us, right? People get to sort of, you know, um, before we had our website, I'm sure a lot of other publishers in the room, and we still do some of this, but a lot of other publishers in the room did sampling programs, right? How do, you, how do you get the newspaper in front of people? Sorry, how do you get the newspaper in front of people? Well, you sample it. Whether you're directly sampling it and sort of giving it to people and saying, check, try this, or you're doing some sort of promotion offer and you're saying, try it at a low risk, and if you like it, continue to pay for it, right? Our website is the greatest sampling engine of our content uh, we've ever created. But what, what I think that doesn't do uh, necessarily is allow people to experience it in a lot of different ways. And I think, um, you know, taking our website out of it, just looking at the web in general, uh, there are some things there that, um, uh, you know, make it a little uh, harder if you're sort of an avid reader, right? So if, if you're just checking out an article or headline uh, or you're coming to browse the latest news um, or, you know, there's probably dozens of other use cases there, um, the website is great. But if you, if you really want to sort of get into that lean back reading experience, you know, you kind of want to, on a Sunday afternoon, spend a half an hour to an hour, one-on-one -on -one time, really immersed in content. Um, and you're not doing that just once, you're doing that repetitively. The little nuances of the experience start to pay off in big ways, right? So I think, um, to answer your question, I think the experience, you know, how people, um, are, uh, you know, reading your content on a regular basis is, is something that we're going to see continue to evolve, not just on the website, but everywhere. And again, as mentioned earlier, um, one of the things that really excites me is the, is the rate of innovation in technology. And one of the things that I think, one of the particular technologies that I'm, I'm looking forward to exploiting more is HTML5 and some of the mm -hmm. um, uh, new presentation um, uh, abilities that that provides in a website experience. 